Good evening to you. I'm Danilo Evangelista, and welcome to our Tropical Weather Outlook video for today, May 28th, 2024, starting off with the National Hurricane Center homepage. Um, with nothing happening over the next week in the Atlantic Basin, things remaining quiet for now, um, as obvious, and also that remains the case um, in the Pacific as well. Nothing of note to talk about in the modeling, or at least with what's going on right now across both basins. Once again, everything remaining quiet. And we can see that on the satellite image across the Atlantic right now. Lots of strong upper level westerly winds. We do have some strong tropical waves though, scattered across the Atlantic. We've been starting to see recently at least some signs of life across the Atlantic in terms of tropical waves. And you can see there's one, there's one that is very vigorous that moved off of Africa. Quite interesting that you could also see it too. Lots of convective activity with this wave. And then there's also one in the Southern Caribbean also has gained quite a bit of convective activity as well, but there's no really any sort of model signaling associated with either of these storms. Doesn't really seem like anything will come out of any of them. And then once again, it does kind of look like it will remain quiet. Um, you could obviously see there's a lot of strong upper level westerly winds. So that'll probably be one um, preventing factor, but at least in terms of what is going on in terms of Saharan air in the Atlantic right now. You can clearly see on the satellite, we do have Saharan air present. It is typical. Once again, it is the early season, and I'll continue to say that it is typical of the early season that we see Saharan air present, and it is in the MDR right now, and it seems like we also have another batch of it moving off on um, the coast of Africa. And once again, over the next several weeks, as we continue to remain in the early season, We'll probably continue to see the Saharan air outbreaks move off the coast of Africa, kind of plague the MDR for a little while, maybe move westward before they clear out. And then again, as we head into later July and August is when we start to see the Saharan air begin to move further north. And then that's when we'll really start to look for development out here in the eastern MDR. For now, though, the main concern will really be from these tropical waves that even though they might seem strong now, um, they're really not going to do much, especially in an environment that we typically get this time of year. So when it comes to development, we really would look for them to develop in this part of the basin right now. Um, but when we look at wind shear, it really looks like everywhere is not really that favorable right now. And you can even see in the Caribbean, too, um, values of wind shear. You can see a whole bunch of red, not just throughout the Caribbean, but through the entire deep tropics of the Atlantic, too. And even throughout most of the general Atlantic Basin as well. Lots of these reds indicating unfavorable wind shear conditions across the Atlantic. A few greens beginning to show up, but that is really in the subtropics, a lot further north than what we would typically look at for development. And plus this time of year, we really don't look at development at all in this region. It's really, especially in the Western Atlantic where we look for it. And you can see there's a lot of very strong wind shear right now. And seemingly it does seem like those conditions will persist. Actually, let's take a look at the Eastern Pacific first, since it's not a basin that we really talk about a lot. But just taking a look at the Eastern Pacific there, even out to when we go to early June, the GFS indicating, at least with the Eastern Pacific over the next week or so, things should remain quiet and we really shouldn't be looking at too much. And let's just really quickly take a look at the Atlantic, at least in terms of the Western Atlantic. Not too much going on. You can see that the GFS does actually reflect what's going on in the Southern Caribbean. Maybe it kind of gets a little more organized in terms of its vorticity, um, but it doesn't really look like it's gonna do much of anything at all besides that. Um, maybe it'll probably be a very gusty wind event, heavy rains and such for Central America, but none of the models really seem to be doing much with this system at all. You could even see as we head over the course of the week, this signal out here in the Caribbean just kind of dies out. And it's also kind of a part of some sort of thing that the GFS likes to do anyways. And then we also have the signal. We also have some small pockets of vorticity um, that remain across the general Atlantic. Probably isn't going to do much, though. And if we could even move it out into time, doesn't seem like much goes on with anything anyway. So the bottom line, the Atlantic remains quiet. Nothing in terms of any major signals occur and it looks like it'll remain that way, at least for the foreseeable future. Um, since the Atlantic, though, in, in terms of the tropics, things are remaining quiet, I do want to shift really quickly over to severe weather because there is a lot of severe weather going on today. In fact, there's actually tornado watches right now in effect for Texas, and if we look at the Storm Prediction Center, they actually have 
an elevated risk for severe weather today over that area where there is some severe weather warnings in effect right now. Um, an enhanced risk is there. The tornado risk is also there too, up to a 5%. But the biggest threat seems to really be for the wind and hail over Texas today. And it seems like the, the severe weather threat continues tomorrow, although a lot less significant and really more focused over the mid to upper plains, a slight risk there. And it doesn't seem like we have as strong chances for wind and hail, but they're also present. And then it even continues into day three where we have a slight risk once again over Texas and Oklahoma, which actually did get quite a bit of activity. It's actually incredible ever since late April how much severe weather we've been getting um, not just throughout the plains, but generally throughout the United, the United States as a whole. And since we're still in May, we're really into the peak of severe weather season right now. It seems like that, that this kind of weather will continue over the next several weeks. So even if we don't have stuff to worry about in terms of tropical weather, severe weather is still a big concern. So if you're in, an, if you're in any area where there is significant weather expected, Watch the skies, obviously, keep in tabs just in case there are any warnings. And definitely, even if you're not in these severe warned areas, if you do know people that are, um, definitely let them know and notify them just so they can keep alert, especially with some of the nasty severe weather we've been seeing recently over the last several weeks. Some really devastating tornadoes have come out. And not saying that that will happen, but obviously the chance is always there. Um, but bottom line, just keep on top of severe weather, always watch out. Even if there's not going to, even even if there's not a warning for you at that moment, conditions, especially in these tornado watch and severe thunderstorm watch areas, they do tend to change pretty quickly. Um, so one minute you're, you know, you're not in a warning, but next minute you could have a fast developing um, thunder thunderstorm cell over you, and it could potentially drop a tornado. It just depends on how the weather is. It's very different. Um, than hurricane tracking. Um, and I guess it makes sense right now to be focusing on that more um, than the tropics. But trust me, the tropics is coming soon. We're just several days away from the start of the hurricane season, which begins this Saturday. Till then, though, stay safe. Peace of and kindness to all. If you like what you saw today, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, share with family and friends. And definitely enjoy if you have any nice weather where you are. Um, stay safe once again. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening. Definitely expect another update tomorrow. Till then, have a safe day.